Back in Greater Victoria, Ch Chinook salmon are disappearing from the Goldstream River, and the species could be gone entirely after a few more seasons. Aaron Esler has more. It's a fun-filled family event, painting salmon at Goldstream Park. Parents and their children learning about nature. Picnic, and we paint the salmon, and we look for eagles, and splash, well this year now we splash in the water with our rain boots. <laughs> Every year hundreds of people flood to the Goldstream Riverbanks to see the world-class salmon spawning. Today onlookers get to watch chum salmon fight their way upriver. So far their numbers are high, but the count on Chinook salmon this year is dangerously low. In fact, many reports show the Chinook are facing local extinction, and it's a concern for everyone who visits the park. Yeah, well, it would it would have a huge um, impact on our river if the, the populations did go down. Yeah, our children would have nothing, wouldn't know anything about it if, we, if they weren't there. I think it'll be huge because people come to see the fish. I mean, it's the, the magic and the marvel of it. And the kids love it because they can get so close to a fish, a real fish that moves. And I think that would be a huge impact. But some continue to remain optimistic. In part, certainly that it's not as spectacular when there are fewer fish. But it's also part of the cycle of nature. And it's really hard to, you don't expect to have lots of salmon every year. But there is a cycle and that's part of nature and that's part of the lesson to learn. For now, Researchers will continue to collect the data and work to preserve the Chinook in the Goldstream River. And for the rest of us, the answer comes from the younger generation. It's important not to litter because we're losing fish. And if we do, that's going to be very sad.